Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Kyo and I'm back already talking about another season of One Piece. It's been 10 days since I did my last review for this show and now I'm back talking about season 12, which is Amazon Willie and this entire season's about it. It's, I think, maybe the shortest season of One Piece ever actually. It has like 14 episodes. It's very short, so it didn't take me that long. It took me this week and last week on friday to talk about it so there's that so without further ado guys i'm just going to jump right into this review and i'm going to start talking about the story and if you don't know it takes place right after where Saba or the archipelago ended off and the straw hats all split up and basically Rufy is really the only straw hat we see for pretty much majority if not almost the entire day of the season it's not until the last four episodes which i saw the last four today that we find out what's happening with the other Straw Hat crew and all I say is that they are split up into different parts of the world and basically they have to try and find a way to get back together. So there's that. And Woofy ends up on this island known as Amazon Willy and it's an island all woman. It's an all woman island and they're all female warriors and <laughs> I mean if you if you don't like your woke stuff, I don't know if this one's gonna appeal to you but <laughs> I mean, it's One Piece. It's always going to have something crazy going on in it when it comes to the islands. And I mean, some people said uh, this is like Sanji's dream island. And honestly, I thought the crew would be in this island. And no, it's just Luffy. And that's not really spoiled because Luffy really is the only one that lands that, like I said, the others are split up. But to see Luffy in, so to see Luffy interact with all these women was actually quite funny. And in terms of characters, I got to say, Boa Hancock, we finally get to see Boa in this season, was very, very interesting. And she's easily probably one of my favorite characters of the entire show, just because of her personality. I love how strong she is, but man, the moment something happens to her towards the end of the season or the arc, I won't spoil what it is. If you're fans of, of One Piece, you know what it is about Boa. That suddenly changes when it comes to a personality and a character. It's like, wow, out of nowhere this happens. And I was really wondering how they were going to handle that part of the character. But it was done in a very interesting and obviously comedic way. Because it's One Piece, it's going to have some comedy in it, right? And it does. And I enjoyed the season actually more than Sabo Odi Archipelago, even though it is shorter, only just because of the concept. Luffy landing in an all-female, all-woman island. It's very interesting, very funny. And my God, there were some dirty jokes in this season, in this arc. I was like, wow, they they, they went there. Chiri Oda was not holding back at all. The show, uh, the guys who worked on the show, the anime, they were not holding back at all. And I can't believe that they actually got them to say certain lines. And it's hilarious, guys. I can't believe they went that far. So there's that. Now, in terms of positives, like I said, the characters actually stood out to me. That was one thing I got to say. Um, Even some decide characters too. So there's that. Another thing was that while there wasn't a lot of action, the action we did got was pretty cool. There's one fight that happens involving Luffy and two other people that won't spoil. That was really cool. You can actually see one of the pictures, I would say, that I'm showing. Um, So there's that. But it was a cool fight. And finally, another thing I also liked is the humor. This season might be maybe, maybe just maybe the funniest season of One Piece. Just because of how much insane... Uh, random jokes came out of nowhere. It was so crazy. I absolutely loved it. It kind of felt like fairy tale. Like fairy tale will get dirty sometimes, but man, <laughs> One Piece actually went there. So there's that. Now, in terms of negatives, just like Sabo the Archipelago, not a lot happened this season. It was just kind of figuring out like what to do next and getting out of this place and all that. And it really was about Luffy and trying to get out of the situation. So because that, I can't really say I liked it a lot and even loved it. Another thing is that speaking of Luffy, Luffy really is the only character we see in this season. We don't really see the other Straw Hats until pretty much the end. And I really didn't like that. It felt very weird for me personally, but hey, it is what it is. And finally, it only gets really interesting until the end. I mean, Amazon Wu is a cool island, but up until the end, like the last couple of minutes of the last episode I just saw of this arc this season, I would say as well, was really interesting. I'm so excited for Impel Down. I cannot wait for it. And of course, Marine Ford, I heard it's insane. And whatever happens after this was insane. But guys, Amazon Wii is better than Sabo Odi Archipelago. But not by what. If I were to give this a score with a 0. 0.5, it'll be 7.5. But I don't do 0. 0.5. So as a final score overall, I'm going to give Amazon Wii a solid 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. 
I don't really think anything else to say, guys. It's a solid season of One Piece, so there's that. But guys, that's it. Those are my thoughts on One Piece Season 12. Look forward to my review of Impulse Dawn in the next, like, three, three and a half weeks, close to a month, depending on uh, when I actually put it out. But I, I will still be sticking to the schedule of Tuesdays and Fridays for One Piece. And I know Impulse Dawn's, like, 35 episodes, I think, not 37. Is it 37, 35? Roughly around that. But anyway, can't wait. Can't wait to check it out. And, of course, Marine Ford and the, the arc after that, Fishman Iron, I think, is crazy as well. So, there's that. But, guys... Those are my thoughts on Amazon, will we? What do you guys have to say about this? Do you like this arc? Do you not like this arc? What are your thoughts on Bo Hancock as well? I want to know all your thoughts about uh, how you feel about all those, that, all those things I just mentioned. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. My name's Akil, otherwise known as the Comic Director, and I'm signing out.